Hey there, welcome. Like always, it's me, your host, Amy from Band Venture, and welcome to our first Founder Band Overview of 2022 on our first limited edition exclusive Fountain Pen. Trust me, if this is just the beginning, I can't wait to showcase what is coming at Pen Venture soon. But till then, let's dive in and overview one of our latest creations. I can't wait to show you this fountain pen. I am super, super proud. It finally happened, our first limited edition exclusive fountain pen of 2022. I'm proud of my team, I'm proud of uh, the outcome of this project. I'm really, really thankful and grateful for Leonardo Officina Italiana who put everything together for this collection. But I'm also guilty. Guilty because my video overviews for such projects are uh, usually launched together with the official launch of the fountain pen. In this case, I had a pretty tight schedule and I wasn't able to record a video overview for this uh, amazing fountain pen and it sold out. So as we speak, this fountain pen is completely sold out. But please, allow me the pleasure to showcase what has been our plan for this collection, how does the fountain pen look in real life, in person, and I'm going to try to capture to the best of my ability all of the details of this collection. Let me explain you what we try to accomplish, how it is uh, going till this moment, what's particular interesting about this fountain pen, and all sorts of details. Let me delight you with a writing sample with the gorgeous 14 karat gold nib. And uh, in the end, I'm gonna share some of my personal opinions regarding this fountain pen, and we are going to end the video. I have the box right here. I'm gonna start in my usual way of doing uh, video overviews. I'm gonna showcase the overall customer experience. What do you get when you order a fountain pen from uh, this collection? So actually, this is the box in which the fountain pen is presented. And uh, if you open the box like this, inside you will find the fountain pen, a black bottle of ink, and yes, this is the only color provided by Leonardo, black. We have a booklet with uh, the warranty information and everything that you need to know regarding this fountain pen, and we have the fountain pen right here. The Leonardo Officina Italiana Penventure Exclusive Memento Magico in PM1. Primary Manipulation 1, a material designed by Jonathan Brooks at Carolina Pen Company. It consists of uh, some colors that are poured into a resin bar, but actually the colors don't mix and we get this swirly pattern of very unique colors, which is totally random and uh, you seem to be very, very familiar with a Leonardo having this amazing material for a fountain pen. Here we have our first exclusive limited edition collection of 2022 and I am super proud of the outcome. Let me zoom in and uh, let me show you some of the details of this collection. In regards of shape, we based our collection on a standard Momento Magico, Leonardo Ficina Italiana, and we reviewed that collection with the entire lineup of colors from Leonardo Ficina Italiana. If you want to know more about it, I'm gonna link a video up here. You can check that video review and check what is particular from the line models of Momento Magico. And we didn't change anything in regards of shape and overall design because it is a very, very wonderful writing instrument coming from Leonardo. We actually choose this model because the material that we used is a very, very low quantity. We had some leftover bars from our initial project, the psychedelic rainbow from uh, Stipula, and we realized those uh, bars are just too many to leave it as uh, a reserve. And we actually decided to make a fountain pen with Leonardo Ficina Italiana that is using as low as possible the amount of materials. But overall, we tried to have a very nice writing instrument for not such a high-end pricing. 
and I really think the Momento Magico is capable uh, as a model to offer just that. Now let's go into details and uh, I'm gonna start briefly to mention everything. So we have pointy ends on both sides on the cap. Finial clip is your usual standard Leonardo of China Italiana clip with the small wheel. It's still practical. Close to the edge of the cap finial, we have Leonardo Italy engraved very, very faintly. The beauty of the primary manipulation is shown in this cap. And trust me, this material is as unique as you've seen it in this picture because it is very impressive. It's pretty random. And I have a fountain pen right here waiting for a customer to have another fountain pen that's not in stock at this moment. So you can pretty much see that we have a different altogether pattern on this fountain pen. And I'm very happy how the colors are dispersed in this material and uh, the entire batch that was poured by Jonathan Brooks is amazing. Actually, we don't have that much color variation because this fountain pen doesn't have facets in order to obtain one more level of intricacy when we talk about colors, but still it is a very, very pretty sight, this swirly colors. Right here we have the number of the limited edition opposite to the clip engraved, and we have 22 fountain pens. This is the maximum number of fountain pens that we was able to achieve from the limited number of bars, the resin bars, and I'm super happy that it was quite a impressive number. I believe we used 26 bars for 22 fountain pens. So that's a pretty good uh, number and a very, very uh, minute amount of material was wasted. Moving further, we have the beautiful, beautiful cap ring with this lines and this motif, which is very common with the Momento Magico series is basically the same uh, cap ring just like any other Momento Magico from Leonardo Ficina Italiana. Then we have no other rings and we have a minor step down and the cap is tapering in towards the barrel of the fountain pen. Now we're going to use one complete turn to uncap the fountain pen and we are greeted by the actual gold nib of this limited edition exclusive collection. We decided to use the 14 karat gold nibs from Leonardo of China Italiana, and those are made by Yovo. They are engraved very beautiful with the logo of Leonardo of China Italiana. Then we have 14 karat 585. Here we have another surprise, something very unique, a red ebonite feeder, because we wanted to have something to go together with the red colors of the primary manipulation. So we actually went with a red ebonite feeder, which is polished and the polishing uh, closes the pores a little bit and uh, prevents staining too much. So actually this is the first time that we are trying this uh, thing and I hope it works uh, like I think it would. Feel free to share your feedback with us regarding this matter. Going further, we have the section and the section is pretty common with the other Momento Magico sections. It is pretty straight with the small flare up right here towards the nib. This is to prevent uh, the fingers from slipping towards the nib. And we have the cap threads right here. Those are not sharp. Here we are at the first difference in between the Momento Magico Penventure exclusive and others that are offered by Leonardo Ficina Italiana. And I'm gonna use another Momento Magico uh, from the line models to showcase what is different right now. We actually wanted to have a smaller ink window which was centered in between two rings. Although we've put our own spin on this ink window, you can clearly see that the length of the fountain pen is not changed. We only shorten the distance in between the ends, the barrel and the cap threads and we've used two rings. In my opinion, I think uh, this style of an ink window is more suited to our limited edition exclusive fountain pen. And we have the barrel of the fountain pen right here displaying this uh, very nice and swirly colors of the primary manipulation one by Jonathan Brooks. 
and we have another ring which marks the end of the barrel the barrel starts to taper in towards the piston knob although uh, I cannot use and demonstrate how this fountain pen is inking in my fountain pen because it's already inked up with some ink. As you can see, it's slushing in the ink window. Very, very satisfying. I can use the other fountain pen to showcase how this piston is working. It has a huge, huge ink volume, 1.5 milliliters of ink. Here you can see the actual uh, gliding piston which can be disassembled using the Leonardo tool that I have right here. So you can purchase a tool like this from our website. You can use this tool to remove the complete assembly of the piston right here. And uh, there is a video with uh, that operation if you need it as a tutorial or if you want to see how it's done. You can use this video right here and uh, you can find out how that operation is done. You actually can clean the fountain pen very easy and you can pretty much grease and maintain your piston assembly quite easily. Another thing that I want to mention regarding our uh, exclusive edition is the fact that uh, the housing is not uh, screw in, it is glued. And the only way to remove the nib would be to use a uh, something like this which is made out of rubber or something that can offer you a little bit better of a grip on your nib and just pull it out together with the ebonite feeder be very careful when doing that because usually if you don't pay attention it can be very harmful to the shape of the nib and uh, it can damage it pretty much that is our limited edition primary manipulation one exclusive fountain pen with Leonardo Ficina Italiana. And I'm sorry regarding the fact that it's already sold out. You were wonderful. 24 hours, 22 fountain pens all sold out. The only remaining piece is the 00 fountain pen, which is the company museum piece. And I am super happy to have this fountain pen and to put it together with the other exclusive projects that I have done. Uh, over many years with different brands and uh, I'm very proud of that. Sometime this year I will probably make a video with my entire exclusive fountain pens and uh, it is my legacy what I have been working for hard for the past three years and uh, I'm super proud to showcase them for everyone uh, who is a uh, pen venture friend, uh, supporter, customer, lover of uh, writing instruments and uh, it's a very very satisfying moment. I would like to showcase some dimensions for this fountain pen. I'm not going to use different fountain pens and put them side by side this one because uh, there is uh, the video review for the entire uh, Momento Magico lineup of writing instruments i've linked the video there you can find a side-by-side -side size comparison i know your time is precious let's go into dimensions the fountain pen cap like this measures 146 millimeters uncapped like this it measures 132 millimeters posted like this it measures 170 millimeters the total weight of the fountain pen inked and capped is 24 grams and uncapped like this is 16 grams so we are dealing with a pretty comfortable small size fountain pen although it is not super super small it is a practical fountain pen quite light very enjoyable it is one of the fountain pens that i uh, tend to use posted and uh, this is because i need a little bit of weight if i post the fountain pen like so it's more balanced let's head into the writing sample because this Yovo nib is something which I cannot wait to show you. I have my trusty notebook right here and let's get it going. We have the pen, the Leonardo Momento Magico Exclusive PM1, Primary Manipulation 1, ink, diamond, Ho, ho, ho. The nib is 14 karat gold Yovo 1.1 millimeter stub. 
and the paper is 52 GSM Tomoy River paper. I just simply love the Yovo nibs on the Leonardo fountain pens. Nice in writing. It is performing quite predictable and overall quite an interesting option. Let's check the wetness. As you can see, it is a pretty, pretty wet nib. And together with the ebonite feeder, it just makes it a very nice, juicy, wet writer. Let's have some normal figure of eights. Although this is a stub, it does have natural line variation from the actual grinding of the tip. I'm going to show you just that right here. So as you can see, we have quite a respectable amount of difference in between the girth of the horizontal lines versus the um, vertical lines. Let's apply some pressure and see how this nib is performing in flexing. To be honest, this is quite a rigid nib. I wouldn't use it flexed. You can apply a little bit of pressure, but be very, very careful because it's quite a rigid nib. You have line variation naturally from the stub and uh, it is not like you would need extra line, but for the extra fine, fine, medium, broads, you can obtain some line variation, but very careful because this is quite a rigid nib overall. Let's use the most important sentence in every reviewer lineup. The quick. And I know that my handwriting is quite flamboyant, so let's take advantage of this incredible, nice writing stub nib. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy uh, lazy yeah like so dog it is a very very nice writing nib it has a hint of a feedback nothing unpleasant it is a very impressive way to get ink on the paper it's fairly wet it is behaving very well I personally tested each and every single fountain pen. If there is something that I can fix or actually substitute or change with a different nib, I will do it. I'm trying to just get you a very nice writing instrument that is going to perform as expected from the box. It may be a spoiler for the people that actually uh, went forward and placed down an order. So for that, there is a few days, one or two in waiting time and you will be united with your Leonardo Momento Magico PM1. It is time to share some of my personal opinions. Uh, like I told you in the beginning of the video, this is a project that I'm super proud of. It has uh, been, uh, I believe, three months of work to have this project done and things are not that easy this year with a lot of uh, manufacturing uh, processes that are delayed. And uh, I wanna say thank you to Salvatore and the entire team at uh, Leonardo Officina Italiana for putting together this amazing project for us and for you all. I'm very humble and thankful for your response and your support towards our project because it got sold out in 24 hours. And it puts us in a very good position for the next project that we have. Overall, we are going to try to offer more accessible pricing for our exclusive fountain pens. This year, we took on the quest to explore different models that are not that commonly used in regards of having exclusive fountain pens. And we have, at this moment, six more projects in work with the one that's going to be launched very soon. For that, if you want to know more about it, I can tell you that you can find out by being subscribed to our newsletter on our website, or you can join our community on Facebook or YouTube. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, this time I'm gonna take my time and make a video overview for that project uh, before going live with it on our channel. So you are going to be able to 
please download order for that fountain pen. Let me know your opinion, what you think. Uh, let me know if you find my ideas and the way that we are going forward with our exclusive lineup of writing instruments. Let me know what you think about Leonardo, our fountain pen, their nibs, the Yovo nibs, uh, and uh, everything that means the PM1 uh, Momento Magico. Thank you for spending your time on the Penventure YouTube channel. Thank you for understanding the fact that this project is already sold out at this moment. And I'm really sorry again for being a little bit late with my video. If you want to support my passion, Penventure, and everything that has to do with Penventure, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. We are trying to reach out to many more beautiful people of our Fountain community and to grow our uh, channel. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, our emails, phone number, anything and everything that you may need to get in contact with us. If you're still present on this video and you are not subscribed yet, you can subscribe right now. Just click there and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and myself, you have this video right here. Click and enjoy. My name is Emmy, and as always, I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.